Hey friends, welcome to my channel. Thank you once again for watching. If you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe and like my videos. And as usual, very importantly, please post a comment so I can respond to it accordingly. Okay, so today's topic is about exporting Sentinel data to Azure Data Explorer. Like how you know, uh, Sentinel data within Log Analytics Workspace, the first 90 days is free, after which it's being charged. So certain customers would like to keep data for more than 90 days and they want a cheaper option. There are a couple of options here. One is to go into Azure Data Explorer. The other one is to go into a storage account. I will be posting a separate video for storage account. This is purely with the Azure Data Explorer. It's a, it's a fairly complex uh, scenario. However, don't worry, I have implemented all these steps in detail and I will be posting this in, in a link below. All what you need to do is just basically open this, just modify it based on your uh, environment and off you go. So I will go through this in a very detailed um, method. Okay, so there is a really good guide here from Xavier Soranio talking about how to export the data from Log Analytics Workspace to Azure Data Explorer. They've got the high level steps here. However, this is not going in detail to what we require, which is why I thought I would document the process. However, we will follow this document step by step. So it makes it easier for both you and me to follow. Um, I guess the first step what he's saying is to do is to basically configure your Log Analytics Workspace data to export to Event Hub. To do this, the first step is to create a event hub. To do that, I'm going into my Azure portal, go selecting event hub from here. I've already got that with me. So I'm just going in here to create an event hub namespace, create. Okay, so just go into that. I'm just going to whichever doesn't matter, going into Sentinel. One, I'm just going and putting in a name, so Sam test. I guess I'm just going to give it any name, so I'm just going to give it uh, event hub test export. Going into East US. And the pre pricing tier, I'm just going to go it and just going to go and give it a standard one. It doesn't matter. This is just for testing purposes. No tags for now. Review, create, and then create. Perfect. Once that's done, we will then create an event hub instance, and we'll be using that event and hub instance to transfer data from the Log Analytics workspace into Data Explorer. Let me pause the video and come back once the deployment is complete. Okay, so now as you can see, it's complete. I'm going into that resource. As you can see, I don't have any event hubs here. I'm going to go and create an event hub. And I'm going to give it any name, um, event hub export LA test. Capture off for now, click on create. Okay, as you can see here, I'll open that up and you will see there will be no request or no messages. By default, you'll have a consumer group called default, which we will see in a, we'll see what's the use in a later, in, in a few moments. Okay, so our next step over here is then we want to go to one of our log analytics workspace and we want then to set up the export to uh, to the Azure Data Explorer. To do that, let me pick up any one workspace which has got some data. Let me go into Data Export, and this is where you're going to do it. I'm going to go and give it a new export rule, enable a port creation, uh, test export LA, doesn't matter. Go, and it's asking me, what do you want to export? Ideally, I only want to export Sentinel data because that's the main uh, exercise what I'm trying to do 
and I assume it's here. Yeah, so you go here, your Sentinel data, select the whole thing, go next. East US, I want to go into Event Hub. It's going to ask me which subscription. I'm just going to use the one that I've just created. You know, the one we created is Event Hub Test Export, and it's going to be asking me for a hub name. Click on Next, click on Create. Once this is created, I will then go in, and as you can see here, my test export is here, part of my uh, DIS work and Linux workspace. Now that I've got this created, my next step is go and go and create a data explorer. Okay, um, go back into my Azure portal. By the way, just quickly showing you, that's a second step here. So the first step, what he's mentioned here, I'll post all this, uh, this video and the steps again in the uh, link below. Um, so we have completed this one, log and takes data into Event Hub. We are going to create ADX cluster and database. Let's go into that. And for that one, all what you need to do is click on Azure Data Explorer. I've already, I already have one created. To create, this will take some time. So I've already got one created, but I'll show you the steps anyway. But I want to proceed with that creation. So click on Create. Um, you can create where, where, wherever. I'm just going to go here again. The cluster name, I'm just going to say LA Export Cluster. East US again. Cluster, East US. Workload, I'm just going to go Dev Test. And um, I'll provide a link as well with the with all the pricing and things like that for this. I will put that in uh, the link. Zones, I just want to select all zones for now. Dev, I think there's only just one. Yep. Click on next scale. I want to go manual scale, instant scale. That's that's fine. My configurations. Yep. I definitely want streaming ingestion as well. Uh, security. I'm not too worried about security here. Um, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Network, I don't want to deploy it into virtual network. Um, you can do that into virtual network if you want, and you can then use this, deploy it into virtual network, and then use this virtual network to connect to a storage account privately so this data can't be accessed from outside, but I'm not doing it now. I'm happy with it going public. Go into Dynox settings, click on tags, and review and create, and this is will take about 25 minutes to create. Once I click on create, it will take me 25 minutes. I already have one here, so I'm just going to keep using that. So if I go back to my cluster, and that's, that's one called here, it's called, just created this one. And so all what it is, is once you have created your explorer, the next step, what you will need to do is to actually create a database. That's your next step. So database, you can just say, uh, I don't know, test, LA, export, DB, whatever he thinks, retention period. This is very important. Uh, this is the days, the amount of days that the data will reside in Azure Data Explorer, after which it will be deleted. So if you have a retention period of 90 days within Log Analytics Workspace and your company wants another 90 days um, to be retained again, I would put 90 days. This is just the cache period for faster uh, access. Uh, leave it at the default at 31 days. So this is 90 days after your 90 days of Log Analytics Sentinel. So, so I'm just going to create. Um, just to confirm, yep, so just to confirm, um, this is this data export is done in real time. So it's not after, but this is done in real time. So this, so the moment you have any data hitting your log analytics workspace, it will automatically get get uh, get copied to the data explorer. So you will have 90 days from the time the data is in the system to get written to to get it deleted. So. Um, you, you can leave it at 90 days because 90 days is what my company says. I need data till to be definitely there. You can go 90 or 180, depends on what you want. So I'm just going to go click and click create. And I'm just going to wait for it. I'm just going to pause the video till and then come back. As you can see now, it's been created. So, um, and that's the one here. 
so it's got 90 days you can it's got 90 days here you can change this if you ever want in the future if you want to just basically change that period to 180 you can change it to 180 days after which the data will be deleted from the data explorer uh, data connections we'll come to that in a second okay so we have created the db and the database so let's see what's next okay you want to create target tables and table mapping now what this does as you can see here i'll open up the script okay so this is i will be posting this script in the channel link below for you to follow so it's going to be really easy your ideal goal is this one you want to get all the data that's from your sentinel workspace into adx or azure data explorer in this particular format so what we're going to do is what he's trying to say is we have to create tables these tables will basically map the data from la or your log index workspace into adx it maps table for table which is what we need we create the table which is your description time generated system id and status which is description status here that's the table and you create a metrics you map this description with the word description in LA or in your log analytics workspace so it maps it like for like and I will post this one here so this is the schema we call this the schema so this schema here I've, this is from github it will tell you what schemas are in your log analytics workspace which is recognized in ADX so the one for example what I have here description it's a string and when I go and search for description here you will find description string so that's what I've used a so description string description string you also will then have you will also then need to map that value of description here which is in LA to the table that you have here which is your description status time generator system alert and that's what you create this table and that's what Xavier is talking about here create table mapping and tables and table mapping so let's go ahead and do that I already have the script here and I'm just going to copy paste what this is this is what I need from those alerts so this is what I'm using so I'm just going to go and create a table so before I do that I will have to just open the, open a new one and if you can see here okay to create the table what you do is you go into your data place explorer cluster you then go in to query and within query it will then populate all the databases that you have you know one i've got there which one we have created was the test explorer db uh, i'm just going to go and confirm that is there so if i go here there you go that's mine here i don't have any tables that's why you can't see anything which is what we're going to do now before i do that I would also want to highly recommend you go to your diagnostic settings and you enable those alerts as you can see here I've created a diagnostic setting and that setting I've got all these categories why am I using it in case when I try to import if there is any ingestion failures and I try to query for ingestion failures I want to see what has failed or why has it imported and this will help me troubleshoot so go to your diagnostic settings make sure you have this failed suggestion um, or whatever you want I've constructed all these uh, going into your event hub or your log analytics workspace for you to query and troubleshoot so just make sure you have that okay so moving on we go into query You'll get this error ignore that go here and I'm going to use that script which I have uh, it's just here okay this one here you'll have the same thing which I'm going to give it to you and my first step is create a table so I'm just going to copy that go back to my go back to my table here and I'm just going to change create a new table so that's under yep test explorer DB which is my new one I'm going to create a table called yep I'll just call it finally new finally new call metrics I'm going to give it a description so basically I want a table with description status time generated I want something with mapping which is 
I'm giving it a mapping name called Final Call Strikes Metrics. Sorry, Final Call New Call Metrics Mapping. You can give it whatever name you want, and I'm just mapping the table columns with what is there in Sentinel. It's going to start running the first one. Perfect. That's there. It's created that table. You will see that table has been created. Beautiful. And now I'm just going to ingest that data into that table. Run. Perfect. Lovely. And you can see here, I've got all those here. Okay. Beautiful. Um, you can even... Hey guys, so to confirm that the table has been successfully created, I'm just going to run a command. Basically, just go into this. All what I'm doing is just go into this command here and just take 10. If I just run this, ideally, I should have perfect description, status, time generated, system ID. Spot on. Okay, let's go back to Xavier's command and he's saying, okay, you have created the target tables. You've created the target table mapping. Perfect. You go in and create the update policy. Okay, so um, Log Analytics Workspace has its data in a JSON array. We need to update that array or expand that array into each of those tables that you see here, which is what which is why you are doing this particular step, um, which, which is why you're doing this particular step of updating the policy. So if you go here, I've got it here, I've got this. So all what I'm doing right now, as you can see, is you will have to create an intermediate, intermediate table to record or to help expand this uh, array to our our respective tables. You will see that in a second when I do it. So if I go back to here, and this is the steps to do that intermediate table, I just need to click on run. Yep, I've created that table. You can see, you can see the moment you create table, you will see that here. Run again. All what I'm doing is this particular is to create the uh, inter intermediate table that will do the expansion. This is basically tell you that these raw records, you, you will have a retention of one day. So you have records that's coming first from log analytics into this raw records, getting expanded and then going out. So this expansion here, I only want those data here in this raw records for one day. Then Basically, I'm then going and creating another table here. If you can see that, I'm going to create this table to complete it. Once that's done, I am going to create a function. This function will basically complete that separation. Separation means separation from your um, JSON array into separate tables. You see this description status time generated system ID is what I have been, is, is what I've done as per this table. You see this here? And that's what I'm doing. So I'm just doing that separation now. I'm going to create a function. By the way, just to confirm, in case if you want, this is all being recorded in this particular uh, document. However, as you can see, the function what I'm talking about is here. However, as you can see, this formatting here is completely not Sentinel based. Hence is why I decided to put this video purely dot from data using used by Sentinel itself. And it'll make your life a lot easier by following my script. Okay, so create, we have done that creating function and we want to then, now that we've created a new function, we want to bind that function with our existing initial table and that's what the step does so if i go here uh, let's see and if i go here and just perfect and that finally does the update policy and that's about it pretty much uh, once once you do that and that's about it pretty much so now 
um, you have created that you've created this now what you need to do finally is as per Zorana, you created that and then you need to then finally do a data connection between event hub and raw data which is what we're going to do again can look at this sentence event hub and raw data table our raw data table is here this is our raw data table not our original table which is file uh, finally new call metrics it's a new call metrics raw table to create the data we just need to go into our event hub so uh, if see so if i just type and in, go into uh, my sorry go into data explorer open up my data explorer here you go into the database that we have created which is test export db and over here this is the data connection that he's talking about we create a data connection what do you want to do with the data connection it is an event hub what is the data connection name i'm just going to say test la export data connection event hub space will be my event test export event hub will be my event hub that i created now i told you there was a default connection consumer group which i told you just before this is where you use it compression i'm just not going to do any compression system managed is fine this is just system properties i don't care about this i only want sentinel data this is where you put that raw data table that we discussed so the raw data table is here um this is the table so this is the raw table um so got too many windows uh, data format is again json and this is my mapping here come on If there is an error or if the mapping is not working or if there's any empty columns, you will get an error. So let's hope for the best. I'll wait, I'll confirm, I'll come back once we've, we have got the data connection enabled. Looks like that was quick. It's just slowly going there. Okay. Perfect still going still going okay i think i'll just i'll just come back once it's completed okay so this has this is this is now complete as you can see my database connection test data con has been created so i've done that here as you can see now i've come over here you go into health section and you can see there is no data coming here because we haven't generated any alerts or AK, there is no data coming from log analytics workspace into event hub into ADX or Azure Data Explorer. We will trigger that in a second. Okay, so um, if you go here into my details, you can see that my event hub namespace is here. That's my event hub. That's the event hub that is linked to this particular database in Data Place Explorer. Perfect. Now, to start triggering any alerts, first things, I go to my log analytics workspace, check my, confirm that this is my log analytics workspace. I go into my event hub here and I just want to confirm it's going into, sorry, that's the wrong one. I'm just going in, that's it. Yeah, that's correct. Test export. Yep, test export export. So it's definitely going there. Okay, right. To, I'm just going to trigger alert. I normally just trigger it from, from, um, security center or what they call nowadays as microsoft defender for cloud so the moment i do that it i've got a i've got an analytical rule that's basically says to just bring it into azure sentinel and that is which is under the workspace and ideally i should start getting inputs i should start seeing data coming here well that's a plan okay um right so going to log analytics Sorry, go into my Defender Defender for Cloud. Go into uh, Security Alerts, Sample Alerts, 
just gonna just sample alerts ideally you will have the sample alerts created here i've got a rule to pull all the created alerts into log analytics workspace which you will be seeing here sentinel incidents currently you have 118 incidents the last one was 555 oh, okay it's already it's already here 12th of the 11th 2021 555 just a minute ago yep that's what i've done refresh yeah i've got 556 so you've seen i can see you can see a lot of them between what now and just a second ago cool so that means there's lots of data let's go and confirm the data is there ideally as you know that data should immediately come to the event hub so you would go back to the event hub wherever i kept it uh, Okay, so just going to event hub here. Okay, event hub test export, and ideally, I should that's my event hub. That, and there you go. So, over the last one hour, I've got I've got incoming messages or incoming requests of about two, well, 20. Theoretically, I should see exports happening from here going out if it's going out from here we know it will go into log uh, to the azure data explorer i'm just going to wait for that i'm just going to it's this roughly might take a couple of minutes so i'm just going to pause the video and come back once it's done cool looks like data has started coming as you can see here now you've got that here if i go back to my event hub or the one that I've created, which is this test one here. Okay, that's perfect. These are the messages. So for sure, data is going out. Okay, so now if I go back to my uh, test explorer here, and if ideally, I'm just going to do a refresh. And if I open that up, go to health section, there you go. I can see data coming in. That's beautiful. Um, so now if I go and query the database now you know i've got the metrics here for the raw data for one day so this normally takes about five minutes so i wouldn't be surprised if there's no data but the data in this raw records will last for 10 day, uh, for one day based on um this one here that I've I've mentioned. So where is it? Um, okay, so there you go. Soft delete only after one day on that intermediate table. So based on that, it's going to be there for one day. Um, and if I go here and just do a run. Okay, that's that's expected. I'm just going to wait for five minutes for it to first come, and then I'll I will come back. Okay, so it looks like it's been about five minutes and I've just resumed the video. Let me go. So if I go here, I've just tested and confirmed it's working, but I'll just do it again. So I'm just, as I mentioned, this will take one day, take 10, where this is the intermediate table. If I go here and just run this, I should only see the records because it's an intermediate records only table, but the real one that you will be using is this one here and if i take the take 10 and if i run that voila top 10 uh top 10 uh errors or top 10 alerts that you have received or that has received from log and its workspace that um that has been exported into azure data explorer now in short follow you can initially this can be a bit overwhelming but it's fairly easy read this document which i'm posting the steps is from the halfway through it's called micro Sentinel data to adx by event hub they've got a few docos there read that if you want otherwise just have a quick read of the uh, high level uh, instructions just follow my steps see my video a couple of times and you should be able to work if you've got any questions please leave it in the comments and i will answer again um thank you so much for seeing my humble video yeah as you as as 
always please like and subscribe if you like it i will be posting more videos of of azure data explorer moving into storage account etc um very very shortly thank you very much and have a great day bye